It's remarkable how easy it is to do more with less. This whole movement of tiny living, tiny houses, showcases many of the plastic building products that reduce the energy needed to heat and cool homes. It says that we can do more for ourselves and have less of an impact on our environment. I'm Angela Marshall and I work at the Carnegie Science Center. I'm excited to take this tiny house on a tiny tour of Pittsburgh to help promote this exhibit that we're running with Plastics Make It Possible. Hi guys, you wanna come on in? Check out the tiny house. We can actually fit more people than you would think. Welcome to the Plastics Make It Possible tiny house. Uh, when you look around, uh, much of the building materials were made from plastic, including the floor, the walls, um, the casing around the windows, the siding on the outside. So the shingles above yeah. us are solar shingles, so they actually create a lot of renewable energy for this space. Yeah, it's really water resistant, so whenever it rains and snows, like it did last night, uh, it really holds up. Uh, we actually had it at a tailgate at PNC Park uh, oh, awesome. for the game. Have you guys ever seen a tiny house before? Uh, never. This looks amazing. Though. I'd love to see more of it. Absolutely. Go check it out. Awesome. So much of it is plastic. Uh, it's really well insulated, so it keeps the energy that you are creating inside the house instead of losing it. Saving energy in a house is in large part about creating a barrier between the inside and outside, what's called the building envelope. Plastic foam insulation plus caulks and sealants form a tight seal to create this barrier. This was actually built in Boulder, Colorado. It made a journey to LA and then it came all the way across the country to us here. We took it to the south side for a tiny dance party. <laughs> Tiny houses can bring people together. There's this novelty and curiosity about them, but as you dig a little deeper, you really start to see what's possible. And we don't have to choose between helping the environment and beautifying our homes. While the tiny house will be living in Pittsburgh at the Carnegie Science Center until mid-September, its next adventure could be anywhere, and its plastic components make it pretty much ready for anything.